Hi, I'm David Dodge. Welcome to Green Energy Futures. This year, Decentralized Energy Canada turns 20. And my, how the world has changed since the organization formed around the idea of building a decentralized grid with thousands of solar, wind, and other power generators instead of just a few coal plants. We caught up with the organization's founder, Anu Kendall, at Lake Louise, Alberta, where they were hosting their annual decentralized energy conference in late fall. 20 years ago, so it's our 20-year anniversary. Hurrah! We've been around for 20 years, and... 20 years ago, if there was any solar being installed, it was called guerrilla installations. They weren't approved. What started as a fringe movement 20 years ago has become a really big deal. DEC now represents a broad cross-section of industry, government, and NGO people that come together at the DEC annual conference. And it's all about building a decentralized, resilient, low-emissions energy system of the future. Our energy systems today are not matched to the infrastructure that we built 100 years ago. And on top of that, our energy consumption patterns are changing. So the whole infrastructure for energy needs to change and the decentralization of energy infrastructure, embedding it in our buildings and communities, gives us resiliency, efficiency, and makes energy more affordable. And at this time, this is what we need the most as electricity prices start to soar because of the cost of delivery infrastructure and because of the cost of electricity and producing electricity. And it's price that's driving change. Solar is now the cheapest electricity you can produce. That is the epitome of a decentralized energy system. So you put in your house, you can have, you can have solar panels, you can have an energy storage wall in your house, you can have electric vehicles charging within. It's a whole little system. Your electricity, heating, cooling. When you look at your bill today, you may be paying 50% or even more for the transmission, distribution, and administrative charges. Kendall says we need a more efficient system. You're, you're building it close to the, to the consumer, which saves you a lot of money. It increases efficiency, and it also has the resiliency benefit that can start up faster after an extreme weather, like an ice storm or a fire running through a, a, a hurricane or a tornado, which... Canada and the rest of the world are all seeing an incredible, I mean, $330 billion per year of economic losses due to extreme weather and natural disasters. It's not getting any better. This is the average. We've already begun building the new energy system today, and there were two big issues on the table this year at the conference. Resiliency and human resources. So at every, every single speaker, every single discussion, it is how do we build resilient communities that can withstand extreme weather, that can, can rebuild faster from natural disasters? All of the polarizing arguments about net zero were only about timing. The fact is, the transition is well underway. I hope and I know in 10 years we will not be talking us versus them. There, there will not be a polarization. There will be this core understanding of our own resiliency and the value of our resiliency in communities. We will be taking advantage of the trillions of dollars of opportunity in data optimization, microgrids, um, community integrated energy systems, multiple diversified energy uh, supply generation, both on the thermal and the electrical side. I think it'll be a, an extremely exciting place with so much opportunity and we will be, we will be we will be helping the wheels turn and keeping our network engaged, growing the network and enabling a, a much larger global collaboration in energy resiliency and energy accessibility for the whole world. Today, Decentralized Energy Canada's members are big players with billions in revenue. And they're busy figuring out and building the low emissions, decentralized, resilient and affordable grid of the future. Learn more at greenenergyfutures.ca. For Green Energy Futures, I'm David Dodge.